Hi guys. Um, this video is about um. Well, I don't know how to say it to you guys. You know about hamster food. Um, sorry, I've not done a video in a, in a, a week or so, but it's been really uh sad here. Really, uh, one of my cousins died a few days ago from COVID, and um, another one has to isolate today. And um, and it's just uh, it's just a bad time at the moment, so bear with me. But anyway, guys, I can't. See, I got an email from Zoo Plus, and they said uh, they're no longer going to do uh, Bunny Dream Expert because because uh, of Brexit, they can't import it or something like that. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little miss. So I've got a bit. I've got to try and um, get her back onto either Harry Hamster or what well, I'm trying to get them off Harry Hamster. So whoops. So I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking of putting her on uh, Mr. Johnson's or, but she likes them nuggets as well. So um, and I've still got another two bags of that Zoo Plus. So I'm all right yet yeah, for a couple of months, so hopefully uh, I might be able to find it somewhere else. But because of Brexit and everything, everything's going. You can't find anything much. VetSend has suspended all um, orders now. So you can't, they're not taking any orders from UK customers. And it's just really, really bad. So I thought I'd let you know, guys, if you're trying to change foods for your answer, just be aware that it's going to be really difficult if not impossible to get foods now and uh, it's basically just english food and as you know the uk hamster food is not up to par and um and you don't get much of a choice i mean the, the only muesli that that's suitable at the moment that comes from uk is pets at home and our hamster which is nothing wrong with them too but the rest of them are all nuggets and it's absolutely terrible I mean, yeah, you got your you got your Asda one, and which is okay, I suppose. And you got your Wag one, which is okay. So, so you've only got about four or five choices. The rest are just all nuggets. And I'm sick of having an argument with 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 um, these manufacturers and vets and stuff. And they think it's dead easy to put them, switch them just to nuggets. There's, they they haven't got a clue. And um, like I said, it'd be in an ideal world, it would be good just to have them on a nugget diet with loads of other bits and bobs. But if you try, if you do that, they're still going to weed out the other bits first and leave the nuggets. And trust me, some of them will, they, they say they don't. The, the vets always say, or manufacturers said, oh, they won't starve themselves. But trust me, they do. And they would. They don't like it. They, some of them will starve. Not all, but some will. I know for a fact with her, she would, she literally would. If I, if I give us um, another food and she didn't like it, she'd make herself go really thin and she just wouldn't eat. She would not eat. So, it's not so bad with Syrians, because Syrians eat anything and everything. They, they tend to not be as fussy, but with dwarfs, it's just uh, their will... They will, they just, they just will. They just rather just uh, not eat it if they don't like it. And uh, and I'm just getting fighting a losing battle all the time because I'm sick of manufacturers saying it. To be honest, so I'll just put them on a nugget diet and it's better for them and all this. And and you feel like banging your head against the wall. <laughs> so I give up, literally give up. <laughs> so if it comes to it. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna definitely have to make my own mix and uh which I'm still looking into because I think that's the way I want to go to be honest. So um because I'm very disappointed about, about Zoo Plus and um it's not their fault really, I mean they can't they can't do anything anymore because Brexit stopped them, we can't get any any imports or anything. So, Rody Pet's the same, 
Rody Pet has said that they're trying to um, negotiate so they can sell to UK again, but because I emailed them, <clears throat> but they don't know uh, how long it'll be or if it or if it happens. Night Angels, another, they're gone. Get Zoo is another, they're gone. And um, you might be lucky to get the odd one, odd one who's selling something on Amazon, but. No, you can't get the Night Angel cages, which I was interested in getting. You know, the new Night Angel cages, which are similar to the uh, the Rody Pet Nagariums, Nugur whatever they're called. And um, what I was thinking of get, getting uh, getting them when I upgrade the cages this year, but and um, but you can't get them at the moment. <laughs> Look at the way she waddles. Oh, hello, nibble, 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 nibble. <laughs> you're getting more and more beautiful as you age you aren't you you was already a beautiful baby but you're so stunning yes you are i wish people could see the glittering your under your eyes you got a lovely little shimmer right and finally i want to tell you, i want to I've, I've been doing some research you know some more research on why dwarf hamsters quiver or shimmer with excitement and what it came up with is it's it's not um it's not really a, a shimmer as such it's <laughs> they call it the uh, uh, the hamster vibrate so when you've got them in your hands and you're stroking them i think you've seen this before you're stroking them and she'll vibrate <laughs> and they say that's a sign of contentment and um so it's definitely confirmed as contentment and uh, happiness. She's not doing it now at the moment. Well, there you go. Now. You've seen her do it before anyway. But So I'll just wait to let you know, guys. Um, if you get a dwarf hamster and for the first time and suddenly they start vibrating, that is a good sign. Don't worry about it, guys, because uh, it just means he or she is very, very... All, all my dwarfs, and I've had three, Rosabe, Casper and Arabella, all all three of them have all, all three vibrated. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like a little uh, vibrate when they're in your hand and, and it looks like they're shimmery, shimmering. Look at the way she's waddling. <laughs> you're little minx, aren't you? Yeah, little minx. Here you are. <laughs> you gorgeous little girl so yeah guys so if you ever um notice on vibrate don't do what i did when when uh, it happened to me for the first time and panic <laughs> um but do keep your eye on it because it said sometimes when uh, if they vibrate for, for for um it could mean something else so but you get to know you you will get to know um what the vi what what why your arms are doing is vibrating? Usually nine times out of ten, it's because they're happy. So if they're vibrating in your hand or vibrating when you're stroking them, it means they they love you and they're happy with you and they're just contented. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So I just thought I'd uh, give you a bit of an update, and I just thought I'd let you know about the food. I thought it'd be important about the hamster foods. And I know it's a bit annoying. Well, it's a lot annoying, actually. Because I'm not going to have the choice now over here, I'm afraid. And, um... Fighter craft. Uh, you can get... You can still get certain things of fighter craft, but... It looks like, uh... Very limited on that as well. So, uh... It's a case to carry on looking and, uh... Seeing if anything new comes out. I did email Larry Hamster, you know, Supreme Foods. And I said, you really need to bring out um, the dwarf version. And they said, uh, they'll send that feedback on. Because they thought, they thought, oh, well, it sounds like there's a market for that. So even though the, the Larry Hamster is suitable. and uh, But I did say, yeah, but they're leaving the big chunky bits and everything. So that's gone off to the the feedback team so you never know keep your fingers crossed guys that they might do a dwarf version 
Uh, also emailed pets at home as well. And um, they said the same. They'll uh, consider doing a dwarf uh, muesli version. So um, we'll keep our, keep our eyes and ears uh, out there and just see what happens. And uh, yeah. And uh, that's all we all, that's all I've got to say really tonight, guys. And uh, catch you later.